This is so crazy. Ah! What the? F what is going on guys welcome back to timeout today we are out here on the content farm and we got all of the gravel yesterday you saw last video we were getting it all spread out and everything but sean got everything completely flattened out and up in place check it out whoa look at that finally we've got an entire gravel part here and that's exactly what I've been waiting on because now what we're gonna do as you guys know the 200 yard shooting range is behind me right here and I wanted to set up up close in this area right here behind me for kind of pistol shooting and things like that and up close target practice as you guys have probably seen from a previous video I have a lot of steel and we are setting it up today we're gonna shoot a little bit we're gonna ride the razor a little bit it is 8 o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna show you guys everything that we have done out here and give you a quick little update of the content farm because it is absolutely incredible we have done so much out here you would not even believe they're gonna get all the seal set up. I'm gonna get this thing unloaded real quick. I've got a few hours out here, so we've gotta be back. And today, later on in the next video, we're gonna be getting this entire razor converted to street legal too. So much crazy stuff going on. In the meantime, it's lights, please. This thing is so dirty from last time. That was crazy. Last time we got done riding, it was like super muddy, and I went to go wash it. And apparently we had left just in time because like a whole entire hurricane tornado came through. Were y'all there? Were you there? No, he was in Houston. Oh yeah, dude, it was so bad. But we got caught up in the tornado thing and it was like raining like crazy. I took these plugs out because these plugs and the floorboards are how you get all the dirt and the mud and the sticks and whatever out. I left them all sitting on the side and I've got one left. <laughs> all the other ones are kind of gone off the interstate. Bye, Felicia! Get on now. First pieces of the future shooting range. I don't know where to put them. <laughs> it's so hard without having a bunch of stuff to know where to set everything up at. You got the heavy metal then? Yeah, it is heavy. Ah. Busting out the corn again today, Daniel. Yeah. I'm not even really a fan of popcorn, isn't that ironic? What does popcorn have to do with anything? Let's see. You pop the cover open. What? Andrew's being an asshole. <laughs> I have had this EBR now for two... A month and a half, something like that, and have not done anything with it. Have not even shot it in this form yet. I shot it, obviously, at SOCOM 16 setup, but have not shot it in EBR setup. So, first thing I'm going to do, I've been waiting for this for a while, we're going to shoot this thing. Virtually no recoil at all. It's so heavy now in this setup, it's got like no recoil. It feels comfortable. I haven't sighted this dot in by the way, and we are using a red dot at like 100 yards. Not bad though. I can't figure out where this dot is at. <laughs> can't figure out if it's just right or just left. You like it? Oh yeah, that is absolutely fucking sick. That is wildly nice. Check it out, we got a collection already starting. The it's first been ever brass on the shooting lane. Yeah, this thing's bad. Yeah, it's mean. <laughs> it's mean. I don't even realize how quickly we're running through 308 now. It's so it's just so much fun to shoot. Ooh, that's smoky. It's almost like you shot a gun. <laughs> I should have brought my glasses. For you, is it spot on or aiming off? Like high or low? It's pretty close. It's like if you aim, a, I mean, uh, maybe like six inches left, you may have better luck, but it's pretty on. Hey, you got one. <laughs> this bitch laser, is man. heavy though. God damn. Damn, fun. That's impressive. 
Yeah. If you saw my Instagram post on Time Out a while back, I made a video about, well, not even a video, I made a picture that I was wrapping a gun. This is the gun that I ended up finishing wrapping. Really, really cool, like, camo pattern. I never ended up going and shooting it after I wrapped it, so this is gonna be the first time shooting this gun, too. This is very fun. Oh boy, ready for your ears. Watch this. I was just now standing beside you and the air diversion from the thing literally blew my hair back right here. I was like, <laughs> I was standing and it felt like somebody just shot me with like a little air gun, an air compressor. I can't see that far away. I'm having a hard time seeing that target. It's cause you didn't bring your glasses. Huh? Should have worn your glasses. For Gorilla Rockets, I was picking up a bunch of inventory of bikes whenever we were in Houston. While we were there, one of the guys messaged. I was like, hey, it's not a bike, but I did win this in a uh, an Aero Precision raffle that they had. It was like a giveaway that Aero Precision was hosting. And he won this rifle and sold it to me for an extraordinarily good deal. Today, I'm gonna shoot this as well for the first time. I've got a bunch of stuff that I haven't shot for the first time. In fact, the next thing up that we're about to grab is what I have not shot yet that I'm most excited about. So I'm saving all of my AR magazines for that because I'm probably gonna wanna spend more time shooting that gun today. I got a lot of 556 as well. Oh yeah, me too. This one? Really? Yep, 100%. This is, wow, <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> it is time. Gosh, all of my childhood is literally complete. I have not sighted this in whatsoever. I literally just threw the Trigicon ACOG on top, tightened it down, have not done anything else yet. I don't know if it's even gonna be close, but I wanna shoot it anyways. <laughs> this is so crazy. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> that is strange. It looks. That is so strange to shoot. That has absolutely nowhere close to the same characteristics as a normal rifle. That is so weird. Watching it shoot, you can tell it's different. You know what's funny? Daniel is so white that it's throwing off the exposure. Wow. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, this thing definitely needs to be sighted in properly. So, let's drop this bolt real quick. Obviously, mag out. Drop the bolt. Clear. Notice this right here. Watch this trigger. This is the ever so slightest amount of pressure. So, Essentially, this trigger is so light. Check the reset out. Click, click. So the trigger is so light that essentially you're able to pretty much fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Let's try that out. Speed it up a little bit. Yeah, that's mean. That's that is impressive. so mean. That's pretty nice. Look at it smoking. <laughs> Good purchase. I wanted to wait until I had a few mags through it before I say if this gun to me is worth the amount that they ask for this gun. Looking at it, I can say yeah. Yeah, 100% I'll say once this is sighted in and we have the rifle dialed in properly, this thing is gonna be a ton of fun. Obviously we didn't go with the 308 version first because a lot of times whenever people buy the 308 version first, they don't like the 556. I wanna have both. I know that if I buy the three or the 556 version first, regardless, I'm gonna go buy the 308 version next. Whereas if I would have bought the 308 first, this sweet thing probably would have never came along. So 
That's interesting. Looking down the, the site now, I can see like the wave, the heat waves coming up above it. <laughs> Next up, SIG P320. This is the subcompact version. It's in a magazine with a little thumb adapter, pinky extender, whatever you want to call it. Can't hit shit with it. okay how's it shoot regardless of hitting something or not for a carry gun i guess it's okay i like the shield better still though i think or not the shield the uh hell cut okay. yeah Ooh, that is warm uh -huh. warm is an understatement i could smell it from here it's hot <laughs> Ooh, that is hot. huh yeah you like it boy gotta have goku with me That's interesting. That is hot. That, it got way hotter than when I picked it up. I wasn't even trying to shoot it that fast. That was an accident. I was <laughs> accidentally <laughs> squeezed off four rounds back then. Yeah, four <laughs> rounds <laughs> on every second on an accident. Yeah, I definitely was not trying to do that. What? Are you kidding me? What? That's nothing. Hey guys, don't have bad recoil like you think. People are just scared of them because they're big black military guns. Okay, I'm done. It's hot. Arnold, you want some of this? Yeah. Yeah, get you some, boy. <laughs> That's what happened to me. You did it on purpose. <laughs> Try it, run it fast. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing I've ever shot. Yeah, definitely the same. It's the most unique gun I've ever shot. Oh yeah, that's to say. It's a lot of fun though. Yep. <laughs> I think it's so cool. Look. This thing is so much fun. Yeah. I'm fishing? Sure. I don't know how much is left. Probably not a lot. Damn. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting intro to a video. It's just like me shooting and it's like, ba 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 ba. And then Andrew shooting is like, bro. <laughs> So today we're doing all of the conversion stuff for this razor. We're gonna get started on the build on it, which means that this thing is gonna be out of commission for probably about three or four days, which is a long time whenever you've got all this land to ride on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ride out here, show you guys everything that we've done so far and uh, get one last ride in before the razor goes down for a little bit. So I'll show you guys everything. We've only cleared to about 20 acres. So I've only seen literally a fifth of the property so far, but it is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So hopefully by the time we get the razor done, with our conversion that we're going to be doing whenever we get it back we'll be able to show you guys and take it out here and show you all of the stuff that we've done which by the time a week from now probably we'll take it back out here and it should hopefully be completely done with all 100 acres by then so really exciting so back that way that will go back to the back of the shooting lane but what i'm going to do is put up a little chain right here that basically says authorized personnel only shoot you like warning of being shot basically because this is the back of the shooting lane we have this open for maintenance and things like that if we need to do anything back here but i definitely want to have it chained off so that way nobody can go past and uh get shot yeah get accidentally shot. get shot that would be that'd be bad horrible so this is like the trail that goes way down and dives like deep down into the property it's really cool it's like a jungle in here i didn't know there's this big of an elevation change oh yeah so i see the flags so is this the property line yeah we're on the edge of the property, so the way that it works is it's actually, if you look at the property itself, it's actually kind of close to like a square, if you will. At the very tip top of that square is where the main road is that we pull into. The shooting lane is at the very tip of the square, aiming, and it's actually the shooting lane itself is right along the north property line. So it's actually like the northern tip is where the entire shooting lane is. That way we've got everything south of that still able to be used. 
without worrying about you know getting shot <laughs> or, or anything like that straight gunfire so right now what we're doing is, is we actually took from this square it goes down to the shooting lane we went a little south of that and now we're going all the way out to the like to the eastern edge of the entire property so it is quite vast i'll show you so from the from the road back there where we pulled into all the way to back here this is about to be the corner one corner and so we've only seen so far like one side of this giant square and haven't even gotten to see inside of it at all i'll show you the corner so all this right there all of that stuff is literally just hogs hogs have been destroying everything wow that's crazy yeah and our camera you see up there on the tree that's the oh game yeah camera. Oh, that's where we see all those pictures from. Yep, that's where I get all the pictures. Cool thing to me is that there's like a bunch of different types of woods out here. We went through the rough, big, giant pine trees back there. We went through small pine trees. It's like the farm area, which is right by the shooting lane and a little bit south of there. Now we're getting into like the jungle-ish area. Holy shit. What? There's a tiny long legs crawling on me. Oh, yeah. That scared the hell out of me. Welcome to Wilderness. That was the corner back there that we just turned out, so now we're heading south from the very east corner. See all the vines and everything? Look at this. You chilling, dude. What? Get off of me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can y'all throw them out? Yeah. Uh, can y'all throw them out? Yeah. <laughs> that, a big old thing. Thing. that dude was crawling on me, man. All right, so check it out. You can go straight here and it goes down to a part that we haven't even gotten to clear yet, but you can take a right right here. And so what's cool is that this entire property, whenever I bought it, had never had anyone in it, <laughs> hardly at all. There was no roads, there were no trails, there were no nothing. All of this is everything that we've been doing ourselves in the last two months. Sean has been killing it out here. This should be fun. So right here, oh wow! what we're gonna do is, is this right here, if you look right down below us, you see this creek? What Sean's gonna do, did you see a minute ago when we crossed the creek the first time? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is, I just saw something running off over there. Did you? I swear to God, it looked like there was a hog running off in, that, in, those, in, those, uh, in those grass over there, in that tall grass. Anyway, uh, so how Sean did that, he just took a dozer and literally took the blade and just cut down and made a slope so that we could cross it. That's the same thing that we're gonna do right here to cross to the other side. So you can see right there to the other side, and I'll check this out. We're about to loop back around and go a different trail, and we're gonna get to that, and I'll show you where that's at. So that's where we came from over there to the left, and you can go down here. Look at all the ferns in the ground. But anyway, going off to the right, you go in literally like a fern forest. Do you see that? Oh yeah, wow. It is crazy, dude. There are so many damn ferns down there. It's like the entire bottom is just ferns and these like weird trees. I don't know what trees these are, but you see how thick these little branches are? Swamp trees. So the crazy part is so far we have covered 10% of this entire land. 10%. We're about to go and go explore. We've had, we've cleared so far about maybe 25 to 30%. We've seen 10. So we're about to go on the big, long, long trail. <laughs> oh, you want to see something crazy? Go ahead. Are you going to do a burnout or something? Maybe not. Oh, you're you realize, just part of you realize how fucking vertical we are? <laughs> we, I, if I had to guess, so we're at a good like 45 degree incline, I would say. Wait, wait, wait. Can you get out and see if it'll, sh if you could actually get out and I'll see? Try. Watch out. Don't fall this way. Don't break the door. I'm trying not to break the door, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this looks it. ridiculous. We just vibe it. Watch, watch. Let me climb it again on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna shoot vertical so we can post on TikTok. Alright. Look at the 
dirt in the camera. <laughs> I got a lens cleaning kit back in the office. We just need some compressed air and we're good. Ah, now I feel like I'm at the beach. It's covered in sand. <laughs> Daniel, what are you doing? I'm getting all the Damn. dirt out of the crash. Just blow it out. Blow it. Yeah. Literally, dude, all of these all of these banks and all the ground and everything, the hogs have completely destroyed. I feel like I'm getting so old. You have an obsession kid, with ferns. Dude, whenever I was a kid, I didn't really care about forests and woods and whatever. I used to just go out all the time and go hunting, and it looked, I was just like, okay, cool, well, yeah, we're in the woods, whatever. Now, being able to own property and see, I see things in a completely different perspective than I used to. That's pretty cool right there. Yeah. So this is all sand. This is natural sand. Look on the ground. That is 100% natural sand. Oh, those are those railroad ties you're talking about. The other day I had to come help Sean put him out because what we were doing was we were putting out the railroad ties so that his machine can cross it without getting stuck even though it does have tracks and a decently wide piece of basically quicksand, that's what that feels like, it'll just sink. And uh, I don't know if you've ever tried pulling out a machine that big, but it's, it's fine. Need another big machine. Yep, and they're hard to get back here. So anyway, we put the railroad ties off and I smashed the shit out of my finger the other day doing it. So this is the stand that I'm probably gonna start using this year for deer and hog hunting. It was already out here on the property. I think this must've been a deer lease long, long ago, especially because I put up the trail cameras and there are deer everywhere out here, monster deer. So what you laughing at? The camo, what it looks like, is on PUBG if the map hasn't loaded in yet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's more creeks. There's so many creeks running through here everywhere. Ah, uh, damn it. I don't want to keep going down here. It goes for another like 100 yards or so, maybe longer, but it's like only, Sean's only gone through with one pass one of pass. the thing, so we wouldn't yeah. be able to, we, this is how we got stuck in the little Austin Powers thing that I was telling you about. Yeah, we I literally got all there. the way down to the end of this, and I was like, oh, there's nowhere to turn around. And so we had to turn between two trees and it was like Roddy Rich. So yeah, it goes from here where we're at though, we're on like, so you go all the way east and go halfway down, we're about halfway down. So if you keep going about double the length that we already have, that's where you get to the other side. Yeah, fuck it, we'll go down there, we'll find it. We, we can turn around somewhere. Fuck yeah, this is time out. We do shit. That's all from hogs. Really every bit of that, that's hogs. Bag up, Terry. Bag up, Terry. Bag up, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. Oh, Lord. Not bad. There is the shooting lane where it would be getting shot at normally. <laughs> Back to the shop we go. Good, my great, perfect. And you're going all the way in the corner. Does he just want to keep the truck? In? Yeah, I guess so. That's, that's good. I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and then it hit me. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh well. Ta da. Oh my God, it's a blue spider's web. Nice chain, bro. 250K on this chain right here, bro. But wait, I got dependent too. You think I'm such a fool, but I can't see what to do. No question, deception is mastered by a few, but now you see through my do, but